least 700,000 people in the United States are living with a brain or central nervous system tumor, and nearly 78,000 new cases are going to be diagnosed this year. The American Brain Tumor Association is the first and only organization committed solely to funding brain tumor research. This morning, the association will hold its annual 5K run walk at Soldier Field, and you see some images there. Joining me this morning are Jenny Bishop and Myra, right? Myra. Mira. Mira. Yeah. Mira Rogers, wanted to double check, who have a heartbreaking personal connection to this cause, and they're here to share their story with us. Now, Jenny, why are you in, um, and again, Mira. Mira. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I want to say Myra. Mira, walking in this, why is it so important for you? Tell me about your personal connection. Well, it's my sister, my younger sister. Um, she had a situation um, May 28th where she passed out. We thought, this is no big deal. You probably are dehydrated. Um, but we were um, encouraged to go to the ER. So we went to the ER, had routine tests, CT scan, blood work, um, and they found a brain tumor on her CT scan. So, um, how old is your sister? She's so beautiful. We see her picture there. She's 37. 37 years old. No, nothing else before this, before her passing out. Nothing. She's in amazing shape, perfect health, pays attention to everything. And that's her fiance there we that's see? That's her fiance, Brogan. Gosh. Um, they exercise, eat right. Um, she's super healthy, very active. No we, indication. Well, you truly are an inspiration because I read about your story yesterday and Hearing what you've done in one week is truly astonishing. Tell us how much money you both have raised in one week with gathering more than 120 people to walk. Yeah, Eight. so we're at 82,000 this morning when I woke up and checked. That's huge. Number one fundraising team, Team KBC. And uh, if you go on the American Brain Tumor Association website and look up our team, you can help us fundraise even more for this amazing cause. Now, truly, this is a cause incredibly close to your heart, sharing that very touching personal story. What does it mean to you to have 125 people support you in this way? It's huge. Um, I mean, if we didn't have these people, I would not be able to stand here today and tell this story. I mean, they've given us strength and helped us. Um, they're vol volunteering to do everything. And rallying around Katie. Absolutely. And helping with this cause. What do you want people watching to know? What is the most important component about whether it's the research aspect, you know, finding a cure, but how this all starts? You know, how does someone come down with a condition like this? Like you said, your sister had absolutely no, no symptoms. Right. Um, I don't know. I, I, research is the key. I mean, no one can tell us why she has this brain tumor, um, why anyone has a brain tumor. Um, that part is unsettling. Everybody wants answers. Um, just research and funding and a little guidance through this process. You walk in new to the medical field and have to navigate your way through it and cobble together a treatment plan, which is extremely daunting. Um, but we've done it with the help of all these people. Everyone has connections and has helped us help guide us through this. So it's been monumental monumental 82,000 and counting mm -hmm. I am sure yeah, we're not done <laughs> you are a blessing to so many thank you both so much for coming in and being with us and sharing thank truly you. your personal thank story. you for having us thank You're you very welcome thank you